Welcome back to making a simple game using Visual Basic. Previously, we looked at how to find the Developer tab and use the Visual Basic Integrated Development Environment to create a form with a button and play around with properties like captions and back colors. Uh, another property is the name, and by default you get something rather cumbersome, Command Button 1, I think it is. I've changed that to CMD, short for Command, Click Me. So I can, if I need to do something with that object, I can just use command click me as a reference for that command button. Another property we looked at was the left property. And you'll remember that that told us how many pixels there were between the left edge of the form and the left edge of the button. If I move the button over to the left, the left property becomes naught. Now I'm going to use that property. I can change it uh, when certain things happen. I'm going to uh, bring up the code associated with that button and by default the event that makes things happen is clicking on it but I'm actually going to use something that happens before you can click you've got to move the mouse over the object so uh, to just make the game a bit silly and make it impossible to click me every time the mouse moves over the button we're going to move it away so I need to tell the computer to select command click me that's my button and if I type a full stop I get a list of all the properties I can play with if I type LE it knows that I mean command button left so I double click that notice the um, left now has a capital letter that shows it makes sense and if I type uh, the equal sign. This isn't the same equal sign that we use in maths for equations. This is uh, going to tell the computer whatever uh, command click me left was, we're going to put in something else. It's got to be a whole number or an integer. Um, so I type int and open brackets and then I type rand. Rand gives me a random number between 0 and 1. I want to scale that up to somewhere around about 150. So rand multiplied by it with a star 150 uh, and that I think should work. When I hit enter at the end of the line all the capital letters come up which is reassuring because I know that I typed things sensibly. If they don't check your typing. So just to recap when we move the mouse over the button that's the command click me button mouse move event the left property is going to end up as some random whole number between 0 and 150. Let's run the form and see what happens. Anytime I move the mouse anywhere near that form, I can try and sneak up on it from underneath, but it moves. I can sneak down on it from on top, it moves. I can come at it from the left, it moves. Come at it from the right, it moves. So there we are, a very simple game using Visual Basic in Microsoft Word. We've set up a form, set up a button, and changed the property. If we play around with the top property, I'll close it and just remind you that you can get at properties of an object by clicking on the object. There are other ways, but this is quite a good way to do it. And we could play around with the top property. That's the distance between the button and the top of the form. And if you want to know what the biggest value that is, you just move the button down to the bottom about 114. So anywhere between 0 and 114 puts that button somewhere on the form. If you went back into the view code and added a line down here about command click me top cmd click me dot top whoops I've got a typing mistake in there let's just change that equals int Guess what I'm going to put next? A bracket. Quite right. I want a random number, RND, multiplied by 114. Have the capital letters come up? Yes, they have all the way through. Good idea to save at this point because we've done quite a lot of work. Uh, so I'm going to save the whole file. Uh, that's my form. Let's just check that when we run it, the thing should now move in two directions at once. I'm going to sneak up on it. And look, it now moves left, right, and up, down. So there we are. You could do all sorts of refinements. You could have multiple buttons. You could make them do different things. You could add a button to close it instead of having to use the cross at the top. Uh, good luck. Have fun. See how you get on. That's the end of this little video.